Hey. Thank you. I like that. Anyways, uh, I, I love you all to death, but I'm not here tonight to talk about getting totally friggin' wasted. Um, I know that's what you're expecting, but I'm here to talk tonight about uh, the waste you create when you use paper towels. Uh, about a few months ago, I uh, resolved to never use a paper towel again. And I've been doing all right with it. But I came to this resolution because uh, I kept going to these, these public bathrooms and these, these big bins just uh, of wet paper. People would wash their hands, dry it with four or five paper towels, and then just throw it away. And at the end of the day, I knew the janitor would come by and he would pick up the bag and he would not recycle it. He would not compost it, but he would just throw it away. All the energy that went into creating that paper towel would be wasted. And it didn't make any sense to me since 25% of our U.S. landfills are just paper, even with all the options for recycling. Yeah, I stole that, by the way. Hope he sues me. Um, <laughs> Uh, and just for the, all the options we have to recycle, it, it, we need to be doing better. Uh, the paper towel problem started in 1908 when Arthur Scott accidentally invented a paper towel. Um, but it wasn't for another 30 years or so before his marketing team convinced everybody to throw away their cloth paper towels and use their paper ones. And they did this through this equation where we weigh time or effort versus the cost. Um, do we reuse our cloth paper towels or do we spend four bucks to clean up about 80 or 100 little messes? Uh, the problem with this cost is that's not the true cost of it. In order to make one ton of paper towels, we've got to pollute 20,000 gallons of, pollu of water and use 24 trees. Doesn't seem like much, except we th throw away 3,000 tons of paper towels every day. Um, this image here, this is an aerial photograph outside the Georgia Pacific plant. This is the river that runs right by it. They just dump everything in there because, you know, fuck them. And the reason it looks like that is because that water is so aerated and chlorinated, nothing's going to live in that water in this lifetime. Um, furthermore, when we throw away that uh, paper, it just sits in the landfill. We think, oh, put organic matter in a landfill, it'll all compost down. No. It just sits there. It is wasted. It's a problem we need to fix. And one of the solutions um, is just to stop buying paper towels. Simple, right? At home, it's easy. Just use your kitchen rags. Use uh, the dish rags to, to wipe down your dishes. Uh, hell, use a cut-up old t-shirt. Just don't buy them, and you'll save a lot of money just doing that. Out in public, it's a little different. There are some places that are using uh, recycled paper towels, which is great, except if you throw them away, then it completely defeats the purpose. Other places are going the extra mile, and they're creating uh, bins for paper towels to go into that they will use for composting at a later date. Uh, these guys, these guys, uh, they're just cloth paper tower rolls. They look like paper, and they used to be everywhere. That was the standard fare. Um, and at the end of the day, ideally, the, uh, the roll was laundered and, and fresh one was put in. Or we could just bring your own towel, which I'm all about. I got mine here tonight. Um, <laughs> Because we all need to start taking responsibility. Some people think, well, what about the sanitation factors of reusing a cloth towel? I have to say this. Who said paper was sanitary? It never says that anywhere on any of the packaging. And also, if you wash your hands properly, all that's touching that paper is water. Um, and other people it's like, well, I'm going to look like an idiot carrying around a towel. Well, get over yourselves, right? In countries like Japan, they don't really have a choice because there's no room for landfill, and there's like a billion people there. And the absolute truth is that we don't have the resources to keep living this disposable culture. Eventually, we are going to hit the end of it. So we can either make the change voluntarily now, or we can be forced into it later. Um, this quote here was from uh, Annie Lennard, who's the head of the Story of Stuff project. Real cool. Check it out. And basically, the whole bring your coffee mug to the coffee shop or your own paper towel, or your own regular, not paper towel, um, it's not eco or green or anything like that. They're things that responsible humans do. And if you're interested in being a responsible human, I want you to get out your phone. I want you to go to betterthanpaper.org right now, and I want you to take a pledge to use far less paper towels than you're using right now. If you make the pledge tonight, I got a bunch of towels we got made special for tonight. I'm ready to give to you. They're 85% organic bamboo, which if you look into, is just an awesome material. Um, all made up here. They're re washable, reusable. You look sexy when you're carrying them. So, uh, come, so make the pledge. Find me during the intermission. We'll get you set up. Uh, if you've got any questions about anything I talked about tonight, dtpennington.com slash ignite. Make the pledge. 
Uh, and um, clap when I leave the stage so I don't look like a total idiot. Thank you.